YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I've got this lovely 89 Toyota Supra in the shop. Uh, nah, just kidding. I wish. I mean, it's cars in the shop, but for today's video, I'm actually going to be working on my 1998 Toyota 4Runner, and I'm going to be installing these killer hood struts from Spiker Engineering, so here goes. So first of all, let me just point out that I got two of these kits, one for my Toyota 4Runner. By the way, this 4Runner is freaking gold. And then uh, also for the second generation Tacoma, which I'm going to be doing next. So uh, I'm going to try this first on my personal vehicle. In case I mess anything up, then uh, at least it's just mine. <laughs> Sorry, Grim. Um, but also, like, check this out. Look how nice this is that they came with the hardware all nice and neatly labeled. So awesome. I'm going to put the uh, Tacoma stuff aside because I'm clearly not going to be using that today. All right, and here are all the tools that I used to do this job. Starting with this very thorough installation like manual. Look at this with color pictures and everything. Um, some painter's tape and permanent marker and a purple marker, a ball peen hammer and a punch. Uh, a center punch would be better, but this one uh, worked fine. A razor blade for cutting things, 12 millimeter wrench, a tape measure, a riveting device, and uh, the rivets actually came with the kit. Then also a drill, this one's air operated, yours can be battery operated, it doesn't matter. And a number 10 drill bit, and this fancy cut to length drill bit stopper. Uh, both of these I actually bought from the manufacturer of this kit, Spiker Engineering. And last but not least, you will need a hood prop or something to keep the hood open to the desired height while you take your first measurements. Okay, let's go. This booklet is, I mean, it's intense, I feel like I feel like I can't possibly fail, but pretty much everything we need to know is on this first page. So uh, first we're gonna prep. All right, that's reasonable. Then we're gonna install the lower mounting brackets. Then we're gonna install the upper mounting brackets. Then we're gonna confirm that it works. And then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna celebrate. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm down with this plan. All right, so after I made sure that I got everything in the kit and that I had all the tools that were appropriate, um, Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out how tall I want the hood to lift up. So not only is this a hood strut kit, like it replaces this lame uh, prop, yeah, but it also can go up to six inches higher than stock. So I'm just gonna get a feel for what six inches above stock looks like and uh, see if I if I like that. Look at how open that's gonna be. Oh my goodness! Here you can see with my hood prop all the way up that. Where it's gonna touch, I place the top of my tape measure, and you can see that the bottom of this, where this would sit, this part of the crop would rest here, that between those two and fully extended is less than six inches. Oh yeah, and that is totally this height, which I think is lovely, is totally within the six inch range, which this kit provides. So, uh, now that I've got my ideal hood opening setting, I'm gonna go ahead and start some mock up. I've got two of these little ball studs and these washers. And as you can see, I'm facing the washers. You know how they're kind of like concave? I'm putting the up part towards the ball. And there's actually two threaded holes on the Forerunner already. And you can see the first one from right here. So I'm just threading the ball stud in by hand and then tightening it down by 12 millimeter wrench. And then moving to the other side of the Forerunner, you can see right there underneath where the washer squirter thing goes in, there's another threaded hole that is pretty much equal to the location of the threaded hole on the driver's side. So this is, plus there's only one hole, so this is pretty straightforward. Next, I'm gonna install the struts, and in the instructions it says that it's a good idea to like break them in a couple times if they're brand new. It's a lot. It is a lot when you're new. Well, there's two ends. Obviously, there's the fat end and there's the skinny end. I feel like I'm doing some sort of like magic trick right now, but that's not what's happening. This is the side that I'm placing onto the ball portion. All right. So now that I got the easy part out of the way, uh, now it's time to drill some holes in my hood. And thankfully, my hood is uh, well, 
let's just say it's seen better days. But now you understand why I want to do this one before I do the Tacoma, because uh, the Tacoma hood's really nice. And uh, my hood, you know, it's, it's alright if I drill some extra holes. So, for this part, I will be using some painter's tape and a Sharpie. And I'm going to be taking this piece, this bracket, and inserting it into the end of the strut and putting it up against the side of the hood to see where it's going to rest. Okay, here we go. Putting on the pages tape. And this also helps keep you from rubbing the metal bracket up against the metal hood and maybe damaging the paint. <laughs> so there we go. Made my little mark beautiful. And now doing the same thing on the other side. Got my bracket, got my tape, got my Sharpie. Okay, marking it. And now, because I'm a little bit OCD, I'm just double checking everything. Did both those hood struts extend to the exact same length? How's the measurement from the base of the hood to the top where the hood strut is gonna rest? And actually, this measurement I'm taking right now, they were not equal from side to side. And I figured out that's because the location of the ball studs where those threaded holes are from the factory is actually a little bit different from side to side. Also, even though I have a clean title, my hood has been on and off a whole bunch. It's not original, it's been painted, so who knows if it's crooked. But at the end of the day, got my level on there, made sure that I do have both sides good, and visual inspection, it looks awesome. So at this point, I'm ready to go. So, got my punch and I am ready to commit. All right, and next I'm gonna prepare to drill. So I've got my number 10 drill bit. Look at that, lovely, beautiful. And I don't know how well you can see this, but if you look really closely right here, it says number 10 right on it. And if you don't know what a number 10 drill bit is, you can just buy it off of their website, which is what I did. Next is, in case you're wondering what this weird guy is, this is our drill bit stopper. So, this guy, when placed over the drill like so, will only allow you to drill in so deep. Ah, see how handy dandy that is? And you don't want to drill too deep because you don't want to drill through your freaking hood, right? So here we've got this one, and it says, mark the stopper with a marker about three eighths inch short of the drill bit tip. Then cut the stopper with a utility knife. Okay, so what we're gonna do then is back to my three eighths of an inch. All right, I was gonna bust out my calipers and be all cool, but I don't know, some people might not have them, so. It's a little bit bulky, but you know what? If I can do this, so can you. All right, so we're going off of the tip, and we've got three eighths right here, so I'm gonna use this section, because there's a whole, there's this metal thing in the way, and I can't see. So I'm gonna go off of the one to the three eighths right here. I'm gonna put my three eighths at the end of the tip right there, and then you can see where the line should be just being oh so gentle to slice that end off with my razor blade. Here we go. Okay, so put it back in the hole. Would you look at that, three eighths. All right, so now we'll go ahead and drill. And now for the other side. So next thing's next, I'm gonna pop a rivet into this bad boy. <gasps> okay, uh, three more of those and I'll be able to skip the gym. <laughs> skip the gym today. Uh, but, <laughs> You get the idea. There it is. Hopefully you're a better riveter than me. Uh. Alright, I spared you a little more of my uh, <coughs> amazing riveting skills. But now you can see that both of the hood struts are installed, and I just have the rivets on both of the top mounting holes. So now that they're in place, I'm going to sort of square off where I want those brackets to be, and then I'm going to determine where my lower holes are going to be, and I'm going to use the holes as like their own template. <laughs> Here we go, last rivet. All right, so now, I have to take this off. We have the moment of truth. So we'll just let you hang out back here for a second.
thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then awesome. Give me a thumbs up or positive comment or something like that. And uh, if you liked this Spiker Engineering Hood Strut Kit, then uh, I'll link them in the description below. And I do not have a coupon code or any special discount because this is not an ad. <laughs> I just uh, wanted these on my truck, so. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Then, you know, you can just sort of go through the overview and make sure that you don't miss a single <gasps> step. Can you believe I almost forgot the most important step? 26. Once you've confirmed proper operation, have a beverage of your choice to celebrate your accomplishments.